this is punctuation chart in this you are going to see about uh, what are the different types of punctuation are there this is ampersand uh, symbol it is used to represent the word and and this is exclamation symbol which is which is used to uh, which is used after the interjection then this is question mark symbol it is used to indicate a direct query this is apostrophe it is used to show the position of uh, of a sentence then this is semicolon which is used to link two independent clauses then comma it is used to indicate the brief pass then this is quotation marks it is used to set of speech then this is parenthesis symbol which is used to set of additional sentences this is ellipsis used to indicate a pass then this is dash which is used to emphasize the words this is period it is used at the end of the uh, complete declarative sentence and this is colon it is used to complete statement to introduce the series we use this mark for combining splitting ending the sentence about action verb action verb is a verb that describe in action like run jump smile etc today we are going to learn about luxury verbs this is primary luxury verbs they are be form do form have form for uh, now we are going to from this is a noun we want to go to he she it for this B form, his past form was. Ha, have form, ha, as present tense, had past tense. Do form, does present tense, did past tense. I for B form, am present tense, was past tense. For have form, have present tense, had past tense. For do form. do present tense did past tense for we you they be form or present tense were past tense for has have present tense had past tense for do form does past present tense did pra- past tense thank you noun and pronoun boy it is noun he it is pronoun tree it is noun it it is pronoun butterfly it is noun it it is pronoun friends it is noun they it is pronoun thank you My name is M. Hemapriya. I am from 11D. Match the following. Noun consists of place, things, person, animals. Present tense. The things which, which happen in the uh, in present. Past tense. Which is, uh, it has been had happened in the past. Future tense. Which is going to happen in future. then this is nouns nouns are uh, describe uh, are used to describe the name of a place or persons or the things the noun is uh, classified as seven times seven types they are common nouns proper nouns countable noun uncountable noun compound noun collective noun and abstract nouns this is could happen you like junk food but avoid it brush your teeth once a day read every day i like i like this is preposition we will use this for making a sentence it's a game for learn, uh, learning english uh, it's a, when we rotate this it shows riddles so we will ask regarding riddles good morning while the windmill is rotating same time the dynamo also will rotate that time the electric electricity produced and uh, the electricity passed to the sensor light while the tractor is uh, going the light will blow thank you rhyming words rhyming words same sound but end word should be changed ex for example coat boat float pen hen gen
parts of speech there are eight types of parts of speech is there noun verb adverb adjective interjection pronoun preposition conjunction for example meena delhi mat and etc verb for example walk see and etc adverb example loudly always never and etc Ex- ad- adjective example blue red tall fat etc interjection example oops and etc the the topic is homophones homophones is nothing that it has same sounds but different spelling and different meaning example b we make sentence we use b b insert thank you other uh, this is basic tense past tense present tense past and future tense for present tense we use verb 1 for past tense we use verb 2 for future tense we use verb 1 thank you this is a game sentence formation this is a game sentence formation